Opioid receptors are the molecules in the brain that drugs like morphine and other opioid analgesics bind to. Hydrocodone would be another example and such common medications as Lortab and Vicodin and things like that. It's also the site in the brain where illegal drugs like heroin bind to. Now the amazing thing about these receptors are that they exist in all vertebrate animals from the earliest evolved animals like fishes and amphibians all the way up to the latest evolved vertebrates like, like humans. And we were interested in on what kind of changes occurred in the opiate receptor that might have made it more effective in humans when they take opioid analgesics. And so we found that indeed there has been an evolution of the opiate receptor that has led to more effective opiate receptors in humans. And this research could be very important when we start doing gene therapy to treat patients that have chronic pain. We'll be able to design a even better opioid receptor from the lessons that evolution taught us so that when we do gene therapy in these patients, we can use a synthetic opioid receptor that would provide even greater pain relief. The second area of interest I have in research is with Dr. Davis, who's a department colleague here at OSU. And we're looking at the effect of opioid compounds on the immune cell function in the brain. It's been known for quite a while that in certain diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, the immune cells of the brain go awry. They, they undergo processes that cause neuroinflammation and they can cause greater problems than the disease state itself. Now we've discovered that certain opioid agents, so-called opioid antagonists, can actually prevent some of the problems that occur with immune systems in the brain. Now this has great potential because these agents are already clinically available, so it would be another use for, for an old medicine, if you will. And this may help prevent the progression of such diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease.